Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of The Detours. I am your host, Delacy And Marvin. And we are here at SeaWorld San Antonio. Neither of us have been here, so I am so excited. I've been wanting to come here for a really long time, but now we're here, so yeah. We're gonna explore this park. It's gonna be a lot of fun. They have some pretty decent roller coasters here we're gonna get to check out. We're gonna give you a full review of everything that's here to offer at the park. And yeah, what else? We're gonna take you all on these coasters. I believe there's six, you said? I think so, yeah. Six, six roller coasters today, of course, here at the Detours. We're gonna go ahead and review them. We're also gonna be walking around the park. And the penguins! I wanna see the penguins. And the penguins for DeLacy. He's kinda of dressed like one today, but you know, it works. <laughs> it works, it works. <laughs> and of course, we're also gonna be sampling some of the food as well. So today, we're here at SeaWorld San Antonio. Stick with us. First time here, like DeLacy said, and let's enjoy the park. So we just made our way into SeaWorld. Not only do you have a beautiful entrance as soon as you enter the park with a beautiful fountain, but then you can actually go one of three ways. You can go to SeaWorld, you can go to Aquatica, which is of course closed right now until spring, and you can also go to Discovery Cove, right to the right, which again is closed. So today we're gonna to be taking you on an adventure here at SeaWorld San Antonio. Right, guys as we made our way into the park we actually found Weston here with SeaWorld and a friend. Weston tell us about your friend. Yeah I'm here hanging out with Azul. He's a 26 year old hyacinth macaw. You can find them in countries in South America such as Brazil and Azul is actually a hyacinth macaw which is the largest species of all parents so very impressive size beautiful coloration i love his color <laughs> he's so cute it's even more pretty when it gets kind of wet and rained on it turns oh. into a little bit more of a turquoise but he's just hanging out welcoming everybody can you wave no not today no. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> <laughs> Thought about it. <laughs> you look at his feet, you'll see he has two toes in the front, two toes in the back, meaning he has zygodactyl feet, which can allow him to kind of maneuver around the trees and the branches a little bit more easily. Oh, that's awesome, and he's beautiful. Oh. Hey, buddy, he's waving hi. And of course, we love him because he's also the detours color. He's nice and blue. Ooh. All right, cool. And so that was Weston, and so what that beautiful was it? Uh, I, a macaw. A parrot. No. Well, a macaw. Was it a What's a macaw? Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, that was a macaw. Oh. So we got a, to know a little bit about the wildlife here. Obviously, it being Sea World. There's a lot of animals here, so which we're gonna show you as well today. I didn't right. expect there to be a parrot at the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> and he's blue. Like us. He's detours blue. I do, I would deep, I would die, I would do it. the blue song. I feel the blue. I'm blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, where are you going with that? <laughs> it's a nice entrance, honestly, here at SeaWorld. It looks like a road. It does. Yeah, and then it kind of splits off into different places. So this is our first time here, so we're kind of finding our way oh, look, through as a well. Brewery. A what? A brewery. <laughs> oh, a brewery. All right. Right at the entrance, my kind of park. What's up? Okay. <laughs> our kind of park. Yeah. So we're kind of finding our way through today. Yeah. We're we just... don't know. We haven't looked at any maps. We at have all? no idea where we're going, which is the best part about coming to a new theme park. You have absolutely no idea. And I just like to find my way around. Like, let's just figure it out. So yeah. you guys get to come on a journey with us. And it's actually really cool because they do offer an app. So we scanned in with our passes on the app. Yeah. Really, really efficient, like Six Flags as well as Universal. It's really, really cool. But we haven't taken a look at the maps because we kind of want to find our way through, show you guys the park as well. But the most important thing, we need to find the first roller coaster. 
that's what we need to do. Yes. Steel eel? Was it this way? I think. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Let's see. We'll figure it out. All right. <gasps> we'll show I'm you so still excited. eel. I know. I, I want to see the penguins. You and the penguins. Shall we okay. stop the first penguins or shall we save it for later? What Is do you it want pronounced to? penguin or penguin? I hear people say penguin. <laughs> it's penguin. Penguin. Yeah, you say it. Peng you're saying it like penguin. No, it's not penguin. It's penguin. A penguin. Penguin. Penny the penguin. I want now a penguin like, named Penny. Now I'm trying to figure it out. All right. While we figure that out and continue walking, we'll find the next roller coaster. So stay tuned. All right? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah. There's Steel Eel. Okay, I think we went the wrong way. So we've been walking around the park and Delacy just literally had a kid moment. Who did you want to see? Elmo. And Elmo evaded him. He left. Yeah, we'll show you. He as literally soon as I went. I was getting ready to go and go take a picture, a video with him. He just went inside and left me. He I said, mm -hmm. Nope, not today. And then Aww. they left me with that little pink thing. I don't even know what that thing is. I don't even know what it is either. Hey, where's Oscar? Oh, so, okay, Oscar and Elmo, that's who you want to see. I want to see Oscar, Elmo, and uh, Bert. So, Bert is the one with the little thing. That's I, what you look like when you, in the morning when you're here. It's hot, you know. See, <laughs> it's only not even noon, and he's already picking on the hair, which I have to tell you is working today. The hair <laughs> is working. The Adidas gear is alive and well. Can we talk about that for two seconds? <laughs> yes, Adidas, you already know. Come on now, sponsor us. So send us an email. Our email is on the description. Send us an email and... Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're showing the Adidas backpack. Okay. There it is. Adidas gear from head to toe. So Adidas, again, if you're listening, send us an email. It's down below. By you the know. way, guys, look. A roller coaster. Ooh, and it's beautiful. And, and that look. thing. Okay, we're about to show you that. Yeah, you really have to see that. And then, the, oh, there's more over there. I want to do a camera. Let's do a panorama. Okay, let's do a panorama. Here we go. Cool. So, there's still AC. Hey. All right. Look. I don't know what that is. Thing, a but swinging it looks fun. A swinging thing. I see. <laughs> a wood. That's not the technical term for it, is it? I don't know. Uh -huh. I see a wooden coaster in the back. Uh huh. I see steel eel. Steel eel. And the best one of them all. Uh huh. Look. What? Water. At SeaWorld, water at SeaWorld, groundbreaking. <laughs> groundbreaking. And for some, okay, we have to do the Miranda Priestly groundbreaking. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Groundbreaking. <laughs> because water at SeaWorld, of all places. Okay. I know, right? I am so excited because these are new credits. I oh, don't for know. For both of us. Yeah, for both of us. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about these roller coasters. Wait, I, yes you do. Okay. You do know about these roller coasters. I know coasters. about them, but I haven't been on them. I don't know what they feel like. I don't know. Okay, so Steel Eel, that's Steel Eel, right? This yes. one right here, Steel Eel? Okay. Yes. Who made Steel Eel? I believe it's Morgan, and it's a Morgan Mini Hyper. So. Mini Hyper. Morgan. Elaborate. Morgan did Phantom's Revenge mm -hmm. at Kennywood. Remember? Oh, I remember the that. One? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So, uh. Ooh. <laughs> So why, so you said, okay, going back to Hyper, what did you say? It's a mini Hyper. A mini Hyper. What is yeah. ex exactly does that mean for because us? Because it doesn't exceed 200 feet, but it features all the airtime hills and camelbacks like a Hyper. So it's oh, a mini Oh, and there hyper. it goes. Nice. You can hear the screams. All right. Let's get on it. Wait, no, that's not Steel Eel. It was on the green one. What is that green one? The green one. That one right there? Oh, that one? No, over here, straight ahead. Oh, that's the rescue coaster. The rescue coaster? Yeah, the, with the jet ski one that Ooh. rides over the water. All right. It's intimate. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Ride of the day. Whoa. <laughs> what? I just looked down and I thought we 
in and I just looked down. Good lord. Woo! Okay, we are high up here. Yeah, we really did. Why is it vibrating like this? I don't know. Who oh, scared me? You're the roller coaster. Oh, God. Okay, you're the roller coaster, actually. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 Okay. And we're in the front. We're in the front. Alright guys, so we just finished riding Steel Eel and go for it. Okay, so me personally, I, I, I love roller coasters and I try to find the joy in all of them. I thought that this was really fun. I thought that this was really fun and it's a older Morgan Hyper roller coaster so the track profiling is a little janky in some areas. Keyword older. But what I will say is it had some great floater airtime in the front, which y'all know me, I love airtime. I love my butt being lifted off of the seat. Like that's the best part. So I me mean, personally, I really enjoyed it. It did kind of die off towards the end after the mid course break run, but the first half is really solid. We rode three times, once, twice in the front and once in the back. You know, I love the back, but so, I enjoyed it. As for me, all right. Uh, he explained to me what a hyper coaster is. Apparently, it's no uh, zero G rolls or you know loops and swoops and what have you. Okay, so for me, I'll be honest with you, not a big fan. Uh, one, keep your chiropractor on speed dial. You're gonna need it, especially if you ride it in the back. My lower back, I was like, oh, okay, that hurt. Literally, you lift your butt and it slams you right back down. So, yes, one eight hundred, adjust your back. Honestly, on this thing. <laughs> Two, it is a little janky, it is a little bit older, okay? If you're gonna ride it, ride it in the front. Do not go in the back, trust me, on this one. You Don't ride in it back. in the back. It's really not that It bad. hurts, <laughs> it hurts. Well, for you, you, you know, like being slammed back and forth on that thing. But for me, not a big fan. So, that being said, Detour's roller coaster score. For me, a three. And I'm being a little bit generous, I wanted to give it a two, but it actually is a little bit smooth for as old as it is. It is a little janky. I don't like the back whatsoever. My back thinks, I think it hurts a little bit, but for me, it's a three. I'll be honest with you. So, three, and for DeLacy set of four, did you say four? Yeah, I did. He wanted a, uh, 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 rated a four, but of course with us, the lower score goes. So, that's a three on the detour scale, all right? But write it for yourself, tell us what you like, comment below, tell us what you think, and um, your suggestions for a good chiropractor as well, because yeah, you need it. All right. <laughs> well, we'll continue the tour, we'll take you around the park, and next, what roller coaster are we going to ride? I have no clue. We have no clue, so we need to find We Have No Clue, and once we ride We Have No Clue, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll let you know. All right, stay here with us at the Detours. I just found this really cool area down by the water. This is so cool. It's like a viewing area, but just over the water. Ooh, and there's koi. What's that? Koi fish. Like koi lorraine? No, koi fish. Oh. Koi, koi, koi. K-O-I. Look, it's a we'll whole show little you the sitting koi. area. It's beautiful. Right next to the water. It's quiet down here. It's really nice. This is a nice park. 
And for it, look, he's trying to get his koi fish. For our viewers. Oh! Now you see it, huh? Yeah. Now you see it. Took you a second. Wahaha. <laughs> Hi, so we're here with Chris with SeaWorld, and he's going to tell us all about. All Dabra tortoises. All uh -huh. right. tortoises. All right, guys, so these are our, our all Dabra tortoises. They are our second largest land tortoise species, the first largest being the Galapagos. So these guys come in at a close second. Okay. Now, they get their name from a small group of islands where they come from the uh, Galapagos Islands. No, they, that's where the uh, Galapagos tortoises are. No. But ah. These come from the Aldabra Islands. Where is that? That's a small group of islands off the coast of Africa. Oh. All right, so think of Madagascar, but it's Aldabra Island. So that's where they come from, that's where they get their name. Okay. All right, so these guys, they can live up to 150 years or more. 150 years or more. Now, these tortoises here are how old? All right, so we have two of them here. One is about 44. And one is about 58. Oh wow. And these guys can also live to about 550 pounds. Oh wow. Yeah, so these guys, uh, the one that's 44 years old weighs about 450 pounds. And the other one that's 58 is about 520. Oh my god. So, they're like they don't look that heavy. No, they're very Oh dense. no, they're very heavy. <laughs> very, very dense, very dense animals. Oh, now wow. these guys are pretty much full grown. They're not really gonna get too much bigger. They might put on a little bit more weight, a little bit more girth. But they're not, you're not going to come back in about 20 years and be like, wow, you guys now are the size of the Volkswagen. Yeah. I mean, they are pretty much full grown right here. Wow, oh, great. And what does their diet usually consist of? All right, these guys are herbivores or vegetarians, if you will. So they only eat greens, no meat. And so, they're that big? And they're that big. So if anybody says you're going to lose weight by eating salad, <gasps> that's false. They lied. They lied, yeah. <laughs> so uh, out here in the yard, they have unlimited grass. And when they go in the barn at night, they have unlimited hay. But we'll also feed them produce. Okay. So it's just, uh, just produce. Same stuff we get at the HEB. Uh, for those of you, that's a grocery. That's our grocery store. Uh, but we're gonna give them different types of lettuce and sweet potatoes, carrots, uh, collard greens. Uh, oh, I love yeah, collard greens. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> celery, uh, peppers. Uh, so they just, it's all vegetarian. Wow. So eat your greens, boys and girls. That's right, grow big and strong. There you go. Well, thank you so much, Chris. We truly do appreciate thank you. you. All right, so much. Uh, have a great day, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, wow. Alright guys, we're here at SeaWorld San Antonio. Yay! We're always making new friends. <laughs> Alright, tell them your names and where you're from. Um, I'm Mariah. I'm Sophia. Um, okay. We're from Brownsville, I'm Texas. Brownsville, Texas? Yes. Yeah. Is this your first is this your first time out here at SeaWorld San Antonio? No. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is our first time, and they were laughing at me because I thought that the tortoises were boulders or, <laughs> or rocks. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock! And I get up close, I'm like, oh my god, those are, those are yeah. turtles! <laughs> but anyways, it was nice meeting yes. you guys. You. Yes, new friends. Y'all yes. have a good day. Bye. You too, bye. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're here, and we're about to go ride. Wave breaker. I'm really excited about this one. It looks so much fun. Are you riding a jet ski on this yes, thing? Yes, it's an Intamin Strato coaster. Strato uh -huh. coaster, not a Strata. Strato coaster. What's the difference? Strata is launches you up 400 feet, like Top Throw Dragster and King of Cod. Oh look, it's getting ready to launch. Yeah, it's actually coming up right over here. <laughs> I'm excited. This is a family roller coaster, so I don't have the highest of expectations. I'm kind of just going into this like, okay, I think this is just going to be a really fun ride. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Hagrid's, Don't you know? Dare. I know, I know, Hagrid's blows everything out of the How water. How dare you? But it, the whole jet ski, riding a motorcycle, see the correlation? So. No. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> He's being difficult today. <laughs> so we're going to go ride it, and then of course what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rate it, let you guys know what we think, alright? So stay tuned. What was that? What are you doing? Smiling, bye. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs>
I like it. I like it. Not rough whatsoever. I like it a lot. Alright, wait. All right, guys, and we're back. We just finished riding Wave Breaker, the rescue coaster, and it was amazing. Honestly, I think I like that a little bit more than Steel Eel. Not saying that I don't like Steel Eel. I definitely like it better than Steel Eel. It was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> like, it was really fun. And the little launches, like, I thought it was going to take off like Velocicoaster when we got on the little launch pad. Nothing takes off Velocicoaster. Like, it was cute. I really think that it is a great family roller coaster and a great starting point for those that you're trying to get in. Like if you have little ones and you're trying to work their way up to the bigger roller coasters or break their fear of roller coasters, mm -hmm. I think that this is an excellent roller coaster to start with. You feel like you're on a jet ski, but you don't. You sit down normally. Mm -hmm. And the lap bar comes down and then you lean forward to hold on so it makes you feel like you're actually on a jet ski and you're over the water. It was a lot of fun. It has two launches and a pre-show. Yeah, now it's no Hagrid's by any means because you know yeah. there's only one Hagrid's. Only one. And we're kind of okay, biased twist. on Hagrid's. But it's really smooth for a family coaster, it's really nice. I had fun. I was all brought out my inner kid, <laughs> honestly. And I know kids will definitely like it, even and adults. Families. Yeah. yeah, and even I, adults. I, I want to ride that again before we go. Yeah, and we'll definitely do that. I'll do this over Steel Eel anytime. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you make your deal. You go Steel Eel, I'll ride this one. Okay. All right, so let's rate it. What would you honestly say? I would have to say, as an overall package deal for families, I would give this a five out of five. Five out of five for me as well. Five out of it's five. Amazing. Yeah, I wish it were a little bit longer. That's the only thing because I, yeah. I didn't want it to stop. But you could ride it again. Ride it in the front though. That way you don't have people's hair, you know, hitting you in the face or seeing people's head or anything like that. I, I think it kind of ruins the illusion when you see other people's heads. You know, you're riding in the front yeah, and it actually like feels like. I don't like riding the back on anything. <laughs> I don't like riding the back. There, I said it. Okay, it had to be said. I said it. I don't like riding in the back. I like the front. Thanks. But you could ride in the back. Yeah. Matter of fact, we'll do that today. I'll ride the front, you ride the back. Probably because I just want to get away from you, but that's just me. Ha! Oh! <laughs> I'll come back. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. I made it funny, if you say so. Okay. We're going to go and find some shows or some other roller coasters to go on. Uh, yeah, so come along. All right, let's go. And we're back, guys. We just ran into the Great White. Yes. So uh, we're about to go ride it. It is a <laughs> Batman clone. <laughs> Batman clone again? Yeah. So was Goliath. That's a Batman clone at uh, Fiesta, Texas. They're right down the street from each other. So we have two clones of Batman right next to each other. One Goliath and one Great White? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Let's we'll ride it. This one rides. Yeah. Let's ride it and see how it goes. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you in a bit. guys so we just got off of great white um yeah it was a batman clone and <laughs> I did, there's nothing much to say about it other than over georgia still has the best batman clone yeah this is okay in my opinion it's too smooth it's too smooth yeah it was smooth and it also on top of that me around like a rag doll like i wanted it to and question huh this one, is it a, is the track a little bit more compact or it doesn't have as many turns no, as even Goliath does? No, it's, it's literally the same clone. 
Oh, really? It's the same exact thing as Goliath and Batman. The reason why it looks smaller is because it's lower on the ground. Think about all the Batman clones and Goliath. They sit higher yeah. on the ground. So this one doesn't have the stilts like Goliath does or at Six Flags Over Georgia the way that Batman does. Yeah. So it does. it's actually sitting at ground level kind of thing. Yeah, so I mean it's the same exact thing. It's just this seems more like a newer model. There it goes. copied over and over and oh. over again on Batman. It's Goliath and then it's what else is I'm it? I'm going watch a YouTube channel tonight. Please okay. do. Yes. All right. <laughs> Sounds good guys. Thanks. <laughs> We're always making friends. They're going to watch our YouTube channel tonight like he said. All right. So I would give this a three out of five. It's not as crazy like Batman the ride at Six Flags over Georgia. Yeah. What would you say? I would say three out of five. Three out of five. Three yeah. out of five. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't it's rip your legs off. It's too new. Is it too new? It feels too new. It's but too is it smooth? Yeah, this is definitely a newer model. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. Which one's the first one? The one at Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois. Okay, so that's the first one, and then okay, got it, got it, yeah. got it, got it. This one is uh, it's too, it's too high tech. It's too uh. I took. <laughs> Give me the old Bubba. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I like the fact that over over at or, over Georgia, it actually rips your legs off. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. This one's too cute. All right, so three out of five? Yeah. Three out of five, all right. So now we're either going to go get some food or we're going to see about this roller coaster right here. What's it called? The Texas Stingray. Texas this Stingray. This is the one I'm most excited for. But I am hungry, so let's see if we find something to eat on the way. Yeah, and we'll review that. All right, so we'll talk all to you in a sec. Bye. what they have. Uh -huh. Yep. Delacy. Delacy. Delacy, it is not closed. We're riding it. Look what they have. Come here. Delacy. Look what they have. It's your favorite. That one definitely don't look right. But it's not as big as the Joker. Yeah. It's not as big as the Joker. No, you ride it with me. guys and we're back we got some food yes yeah, so I'm starving yeah both of us are starving and so we stopped by Lone Star Barn yes before coming over here and we grabbed ourselves a couple of beers cheers cheers salud it's a really nice park and uh, the food offerings are actually pretty good there's like four or five restaurants here yeah well there's also the little stands on the side but the biggest one is going to be Harbor Market which is where we were and you'll be seeing that right now because we're showing you videos from the inside but there's a wide variety of places you can eat like they had brisket barbecue they had chicken burgers um, cold sandwiches salads and nachos suits. Mexican selection yeah yep. yeah they, they actually have like four or five little stands that you can actually pick yeah. and choose it's what kind of like, like a food do. court almost mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I got a bacon cheeseburger mm -hmm. and, and I got a brisket and brisket and a sausage sandwich with a potato salad I didn't want the fries so we're t we'll taste it and let you know what we think all right let's dig in go for it okay, so take a fry. Mm. you go first Thoughts? It's good. Yeah? yeah? It's just a bacon cheeseburger, <laughs> nothing to write home about. Can't really go wrong with a bacon cheeseburger. All right. All right, let's try this sausage and brisket with all the fixings.
It's actually pretty well seasoned. Yeah. For brisket and the barbecue sauce isn't too strong, so cool. it's really good actually. Let's try the potato salad. Not bad. Is it good? Not bad. Needs a little salt, but good potato salad. So definitely recommend Harbor, what was it called? Harbor, Harbor Market. Harbor Market here. It's actually by the entrance. Yeah. And um, yeah, you guys honestly try it out and enjoy. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. We're gonna go ahead and chow down and then we're gonna go continue riding some roller coasters. All right guys, we just finished lunch and I have to say for a theme park food, it was actually really good. Mine was just a regular bacon cheeseburger. It was a little dry. Okay, but so yours was looked good. Yeah, it was juicy. And you didn't give me a bite. Sorry, I was hungry. <laughs> but you didn't give me a bite of yours. You didn't want one. Yeah, because it kind of looked dry. And normally you just take it. You don't even <laughs> ask. <laughs> but no, for theme park food, it was actually pretty good. For barbecue, I wish it would have been a little bit warmer, but not bad. Um, honestly, from all the theme parks that we've been to, excluding Universal because say. Universal <laughs> Mythos is legit. Oh, yeah, mythos. we're kind of missing uh, Universal a little we're bit. We're coming but. back for you, baby, and Velocicoaster. Yeah, but yeah, it was pretty good. Now, I do have to tell you, it is a little bit pricey even with our discount. Yeah. So we highly suggest that you recommend, we recommend, I'm sorry, that uh, you get the all day dining pass. Yes, the all day dining pass was mm -hmm. listed at $49.99 plus tax. But if you are a gold or platinum pass member, you get a 20% discount. And you can find out more on how to save money at a theme park by clicking this link above and watching our video on how to save money at a theme park. Because we did cover it also. Indeed. We did talk about it. Yeah, and there's okay. more details on how to save money at a theme park. But overall, for two sandwiches, the burger, the fries, my potato salad, and um, the brisket sandwich was about $30. And that's including the discount being platinum members. Yeah. And then the two beers were about 25 bucks, you know, plus tip, it was about 30 bucks. So that's 60 bucks <laughs> on food. On lunch, the all day dining pass here at SeaWorld is definitely the way to go. We didn't do it because honestly, I can't eat every 90 minutes. Yeah, and we're here for such a short period of time. It, if, if the park hours were longer and we're here all day, it would make sense, but. We're here to ride coasters. Yeah, we're just here to do the coasters and yeah. check out the park. Which leads us to our next point. Where are we going? We are going to the Texas Stingray. And I, this is my most anticipated roller coaster here at this park. That Why? I've, I've heard so many great things about the Texas Stingray. Who makes it? GCI, Great Coasters International. Okay, and what, what else about it? So, <laughs> it opened in 2020, right before everything bad happened. Before uh -huh. everything bad happened, back when SeaWorld, Parks and Entertainment were building all the roller coasters at all the parks. It was the Texas Stingray for San Antonio. Then it was Emperor for San Diego, Iron Guazi for Busch Gardens Tampa, and Pantheon for Busch Gardens Williamsburg. None of them opened except for the Texas Stingray. And right. I've heard that it is an outstanding GCI wooden roller coaster. All right. So I'm excited because I love wooden roller coasters. I've heard that it's really smooth, uh -huh. very twisty, and it has great air time. And I've also heard that the back is the best seat. So, so we're going to the back? Okay, we're going in the back. And I'm excited because he's excited. So My favorite wooden GCI coaster right now is Thunderhead at Dollywood. That's uh, my favorite. Oh yeah, that one was a good one. Followed by Mystic Timbers at Kings Island. You haven't been on that yet. No, not yet. Soon though. But you will. But um, the weather is also phenomenal today. Beautiful. It's in the, I want to say 68, 70 degrees. It's really nice. Outside. And yeah. Yeah. And this is better than it was when we went to Six Flags. Oh my God, it was so cold. Yeah, But I the know. sun is out. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. like, this has overall been a pretty good day so far. The crowds are light. Mm -hmm. We haven't really. And everybody's for so anything. friendly. They are. Everybody's really friendly. I like they that. They are. Cool. Everybody's sweet. 
Anybody you go up to me, ask them. Mine is one. Um, <laughs> Shade. Andy. I'm gonna call it Shade. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anybody we walked up to and asked for help, they're very sweet, very helpful, full of knowledge, which is great. Coming yeah. to a head. Oh, she wasn't talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll talk about, we'll cover the park in more detail at the end. And I found the penguins. Oh, you did? Look. <laughs> he found the penguins. Hold on. Let me flip the camera. Yeah, he's doing the penguin. Okay. <laughs> that's DeLacy. And that's how we love him. So I take it you're excited for the penguins. Yes. Yeah? You're I'm excited for the penguins? Get, can we get a penguin and name him Penelope the penguin? Or Penny. Uh, or Penny the penguin. Harvey would fight him. Dada, DeLacy go crazy. You bring penguin home, I fight. No penguin in the house. This is a Harvey house. <laughs> Harvey would fight him. But we'll see see the penguin, the penguin encounter. Um, as soon as we finish riding roller coasters. Yes. Oh, we have to wait. Fine. Okay, I do want to get on Texas Theory. We'll come back. All right, cool. All right, guys, we will talk to you in a bit. Bye. So we made it all the way to the Texas Stingray and... Uh, closed. 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 It's closed due to technical difficulties. It literally has been running all day, and as soon as we show up, it's literally going. I'm so. How do you feel right now? I'm irritated. You feel perturbed? And then the thing that makes me even more mad is that we walk up, and the ladies just screaming, "We're closed!" And then you ask, "Are you closed right now? We're closed for the day." So yeah, apparently they're saying that they're closed for the day due to technical difficulties. So, are you perturbed or are you appalled? It is what it is. We're just gonna make the best of this day. I literally came here just. I am actually saying this, and I'm gonna be one of those people. Go. I literally came here just for this roller coaster for the Texas Stingray. Yes, I've heard so much about it. We'll He's check so back before the day is over, yeah. just in case, because they could just be not wanting to work. But, as you guys know, in the roller coaster community, it things happen. Things happen. This is why we're annual pass holders. And we come back. We'll come back. Sorry. This is gonna be. And. Let's go see the penguins now, or I don't cue, know. Let's go see some. Cue the sound. Womp, womp, womp. That one. Yeah. It's okay, guys. But you, you know, know what, what else we can ride? What? Look. Come on. Come on. I it's called know. the Sea Swinger. Yeah, they can Sea Swing on that way. You don't want to swing on the Sea Swinger? I don't want to go on that. It's not as, actually, you know what? It's it, not as bad as the Joker, but eh. It looks dumb, nah. right? But look, look what's behind you. Look what's behind you. Turtles. Oh! Wanna see the turtles? the turtles? You found the turtles. Look at the turtles. You ready? Why don't you see no turtles? There's a turtle right there. Look how big it is. Where? Oh, there it is. Look, it's Dory. <laughs> Dory. P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way. Huh? P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way. Wait, say that again. What? P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way. I don't know what that is. What is it? Oh, no. What? Look. <laughs> Who's turd? Who's perturbed? You don't know, finding Nemo. Oh, okay. You are more of a kid at heart than I am on that one. But look, there's a turtle, and there's Dory, and then there's this buddy right here. It's the bud. It's the what? The bud. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, really? It's right there, the turtle. That was a nice little treat. Yeah, the turtles make me feel better. Okay, will it make you feel better if we go look at some penguins? Let's go this way. You wanna go that park? way? Let's, let's, let's just go exploring now. All right, let's explore. And maybe we'll find another roller coaster. Because they're closed. Because they're what? They're closed. Oh. Oh, he's Paul right now. He's very Paul. <laughs> I'm so irritated. I know, I know, I know. But and maybe, that oh, that's the orca rude. tank right there. And then that lady was rude. Yeah, she was a little bit, but hey. It happens, we roll with the punches. But stay tuned, and we'll keep going. So, DeLacy, huh? 
Look what else we found. I've been on ones like these and they're so much fun actually. Wait, okay, so what is the difference between this and the Joker? A lot. Like? One, the Joker spins. And he's not nearly as bad as that. Uh-huh. I feel safer on this. You feel safer on this? Really? Alright. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> I'm still recovering from that. I wish I could have gotten that. Oh my god. Okay, so we just did, we didn't do a roller coaster, Nuts. but we did Tidal Surge, which is that right there. <laughs> and I oh, thought the Joker was bad. Whoa. <laughs> Tidal Surge. Whoa. Way worse. I've done one like this at Dollywood. Mm hmm. Called the Barn Sir. I don't know. Barn something. Uh huh. Oh my god. Yeah. That is nuts. It was wild. It, it just shook. That is it shook. Yeah, it shook. Insane. Yeah, it shook. And it on top shook of that, him. <laughs> and I'm usually these kind of rides, they don't phase me. I get a little scared. Don't get me wrong. I get a little scared, obviously, because of that unknown and that swinging back and forth. But oh this my one. God. Whew. And, and so like I was Joker, literally parallel with the ground. That's the thing. It's, when the you're joke parallel. starts off, it starts off slow and yeah. it works its way up. This one, it swings and then it just goes wild. Like, we're just like, oh my god! It yeah. didn't even waste any time. That is a. I, I know it's not a roller coaster, but five out of five. <laughs> yeah, let's rate that. That needs five, a rating. That needs a rating. Five out of five. <laughs> for an amusement park, for a theme park per se. What would you call this? A, a theme park ride? That's Not a, a roller coaster. Ride. A flat ride. Okay, yeah. for a flat ride, gotta give it up. Five ah, out of yo. five on Tidal Surge, and I know that my brother would lose it on this thing. Yo. So I know you're watching, Danny. We have to come over here. Oh my god! I am so sh <laughs> You. I, I, can, I can hear him screaming right now, all the way from Houston. Me, just right me, in me and him and both probably, are just. And probably, and on top of that, probably flipping me off and going, "Uh, uh not gonna happen." But if you thought, Danny, if you thought the back row of Wonder Woman was crazy, <laughs> this one right on, here. Look, you can this see This one right it here. Let's take a look, look at it. Let's it, take a look. I mean, Yeah. It's wild. And that's not even at its highest. Hold on. Here it goes. Oh. And you want to know the even crazier part? This whole thing is powered by air. Wow. Air. Air is doing that. That's that's wild. That's wild. Shout out to SeaWorld San Diego. San Diego. Y'all did that. Oh. San Antonio. San Antonio. Y'all did that one. He left um, He left a few, you know, brain cells up there Indeed. with the ride. Not a few, a lot. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue on and see if we could get, find another coaster. We might actually double back yeah. and see if we can go. Somebody lying. If the Texas, what is it? Texas, Texas Stingray. Stingray is operational because he really wants to ride it. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of really want to ride it. But really. our day continues here at SeaWorld. <laughs> can't even talk. I can't even breathe. <sighs> so as we walked, we just noticed that it's getting close to closing time. Yeah. And unfortunately, we try to ride more roller coasters than we did actually do the shows. So when you or do come to SeaWorld, or see the animals, because yeah. you did want to see the penguins. We can see them on the way out if there's time. Okay, we can see them on the way out, <laughs> hopefully if it's still open. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't get to catch the shows because we're walking around and we were trying to do the roller coasters and we yeah. also arrived a little late as well. You know, traffic and such. But um, if you do come to SeaWorld's 
San Antonio do catch the shows as well because also, after all, that's SeaWorld, you know? Yeah. That's part of the attraction as and well. And it just gives us an excuse to come back. So, because we do have an annual pass to all of the SeaWorld parks. Hit, hit. Um, and Bush Gardens. Yep. Major hint, hint. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can catch before it's time to go. All right, stay yep. tuned. The pink San Antonio flamingo and its natural habitat in the SeaWorld San Antonio Pond. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for our very first trip to SeaWorld San Antonio. This has been a very fun day, I will say. It's been fun, a few hiccups here and there, but overall, I would say this has been a fun experience. We didn't get to do everything that we wanted to do, but that's okay because now we just have an excuse to come back. Uh, what do you think so far? I like the park. Um, it's my first time here at SeaWorld San Antonio. I've been to SeaWorld San Diego, but when I was a kid. Yeah. So, roller coaster wise, a cute little collection. A yeah. cute little collection of roller coasters. I think what they have, it. it they hit. Yeah. They hit. Yeah, they really do. Uh, the theming, it's, it's good. It's nice, you yeah. know, for a uh, theme park of this size as well and all that. Yeah. But what I do love and um, honestly is that the people were really, really friendly. Very friendly. Very friendly, very customer service oriented. You know, the food for theme park food is actually really pretty is. up there. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Operation pretty good. wise, needs a little help. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Cut it down. Go ahead. Yeah, get it together, okay? Yeah. I yeah. mean, the staff is very friendly, but... I love how you double back <laughs> to the good part because no. you're talking about the bad part. <laughs> no, the staffing is very friendly, but the operation could be a little bit better. Like, I, I get half fun. Mm -hmm. But send these trains, baby. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, no. The, Get together. No, I'll be honest with you. No, and obviously, what we're here for is to give you the good, the bad, and the good. Yeah. The, we're uh, let me rephrase you... that. Scratch that. The good and the not so good. Yeah. Okay. If we're gonna be honest. If we're gonna be honest, yes. Operational wise, you know, um, there's a, a few hiccups. But they're we not have to sending say, trains. It's the start of the season too, so these they yeah. can probably be. So that's that's fine. Yeah, there's a couple of hiccups and everything, you know, a couple of, you know, mishaps and all that stuff. Yeah. But overall, actually, really good experience. Really fun experience. Also, bags. If you come to the park with bags. Oh, we learned that very yes, quickly. Yes, we learned that yeah. very quick. If you come to the park with bags, you cannot leave them on the, the side. Like the you side, usually do yeah. at Six Flags. You can't yeah. leave them on the side. You have to get a locker or leave it with a non-rider. Yeah. Think We're about both it. Think riding. about it. Think about it this way. It's almost like universal, but you actually have to rent a locker and yeah. you rent it for three hours. Which reminds me, I need to cancel our locker anyway. Uh, you have to rent it for three hours, and then you have to swap. You know, send your locker, yeah. your code to another locker, and that's how it works. It's yeah. actually a good system once you get it up and running. We didn't know about it, so yeah. it was kind of a surprise, but not a bad system nonetheless. Except for the the last ride that we did. That one you could just put your bags right there, yeah. but it's a good system. You just kind of have to get used to it a little bit. Yeah. Know? So Come it's up, what was it like nine dollars for the whole uh, day? nine dollars for about three hours. No, yeah. it's for the whole day, but you only have three hours to keep it in that specific locker. You have to move it to the next one. Yeah, as no. You go around the park. Yeah, and I have to I have to cancel off the locker and everything. But overall, great experience here at uh, SeaWorld San Antonio. Before we go, we want to send a special shout out to the Ingram and Lamar families. We actually met them here, and we kept running into them throughout the day. You guys are awesome. Big fans, yes. big fans. They're very, very good people, very nice people, and uh, they followed us right off the bat, and their kid is like, oh, we know you, and I'm like, oh, you follow us? So we have a little bit of a fan base. It was cute, honestly. It was so, so, so cute. And so, guys, uh, the Ingram and uh, Lamar family, thank you guys so much for your support. As well as for you guys, thank you for your support. It's a great start to 2024. We have a lot of beautiful things up our yeah. sleeve for this year yeah. that I can't wait to show you guys. All right, so. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so for the overall park score, 
we will give it a... You know you can do a drum roll with the thing, right? Let me live my life. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, they probably can't even hear that. But we can do a drum roll. So, drum roll. And... Three out of five. Three coasters. Three out of five, honestly. Park cleanliness, amazing. Food selection, good. Um, operational wise, a couple of hiccups here and there. Rides overall and everything. It's, it's a good little collection and all that. So that's a three out of five from the Detours. I definitely would say if you are going on a theme park tour, which, you know, summer is coming up, so that's gonna be on a lot of people's radars to come to San Antonio, go to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, I would definitely make a day and stop here at SeaWorld San Antonio to get these credits. Okay. It's worth it. Yes. But all right. And that's all for now. Uh huh. Oi. I am here, Professor Dixon, and I'm here to show you this magnificent wildlife. Oh, here he goes. Those are the great San Antonio wild alligators. And you can only find them in the deepest deserts in the wilderness of SeaWorld San Antonio. So just so you know, you won't find alligators in the desert, but keep going, go ahead. Oh yeah, peace and hair grease. Ciao for now. <laughs>